Hello everybody, welcome to the Huddle's post-game recap. I'm Keith Schweigert running down the scores from week three of the Lancaster Lebanon League season. We had a whopping 20 games in the schedule tonight, so there's plenty to talk about. Let's jump right in with our game of the week as voted on by you, the fans, the non-league clash between Kutztown and Peckway Valley. The Braves came into this one looking to win their sixth straight game dating back to last season, while Kutztown rolled in with momentum after stopping its 41-game losing streak last week with a victory over Shenandoah Valley. And wouldn't you know it, now Kutztown's on a winning streak. They dusted PV 34-13. Quarterback Braden Eck threw a pair of touchdown passes for Kutztown, which has won two in a row for the first time since the 2009 season. Jordan Lapp and Connor Horst scored the touchdowns for Peckway Valley. Let's turn our attention to the Lampeter Bowl. That's the annual rivalry game between Conestoga Valley and Lampeter Strasburg. This one had some extra spice to it since CB was looking to go 3-0 in coach Jerry Novak's return to the sidelines, while LS was trying to avoid a 1-2 start. And the Pioneers did it, holding on for a 35-26 victory. It was a wild back and forth game, but LS got the win behind Shane Lawler and Cameron Niemeyer, who scored two touchdowns each. Grant Stoltzfus threw a pair of touchdown passes in the losing effort for Conestoga Valley. Okay, let's run through the rest of the scores, starting in Harrisburg, where Wilson lost its first game of the season to Central Dolphin. They fell 24 to six. Hemfield had a valiant effort tonight, but the Black Knights fell to 0-3 with a 48-42 loss to Central York. McCaskey improved to 2-1 with a 41-19 blowout win over Reading. Warwick was all over effort in the night. The Warriors won 55-14. That's an LL League record 34 straight losses for Ephrata. Penn Manor lost its third game in a row to Dallastown, falling 23-13. Elizabethtown is 3-0 after knocking off Lebanon, 36-12. Mannheim Township's comeback bid fell short against Governor Mifflin as the Blue Streaks fell 28-20. Mannheim Central stayed red hot by hammering West York 63-0. It was Garden Spot big over Spring Grove, 35-13. Cedar Crest fell to Lower Dolphin, 10-7. Cocalico rolled over Upper Perky Omen, 48-14. That's the first win of the season for the Eagles. Lancaster Catholic won its second straight by nipping Trinity 12-10. Donegal is 0-3 after the Indians were shut out 17-0 by Palmyra. It was Anvil Cleona 35, Hanover 26, Elko down Fleetwood 29-26, Northern Lebanon fell to 1-2 with a loss to Daniel Boone, and finally, Columbia's game against York Suburban was postponed to Saturday after the stadium was evacuated due to a threat made by a student. The game will be played at York Suburban tomorrow at 2 p.m. Check out Lancaster Online for more details. Also on Saturday, Solanco hosts Northeastern at 7 p.m. That's going to do it for us this week. Make sure to check out Lancaster Online for all of the Week 3 details. And be sure to check back next week as we get you ready for Week 4. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Once again, I'm Keith Schweigert. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend.